Welcome to Chesara's Kitchen and today I've decided to make Swahili bread. You can also call it Swahili pizza. Stay tuned as I prepare. And these are my ingredients. I have one cup of wheat flour, minced meat that I've already cooked, this butter, oil, cooking oil, salt and warm water. First of all, I'm going to mix my flour. I take a, a, a half teaspoon of salt. little oil then I need to a soft dough the dough should be very soft When kneading, make sure it doesn't stick on your hands. Add a little oil. Make sure that it makes well. And it doesn't stick on your hands. You add more oil. For one cup of for one cup of flour, I'm going to use a third cup of oil. I divide into two, lay this one aside, I'm going to use this, I make three balls, while making this you don't use a rolling pin, you just use your hand and oil to spread out, do like that until you get a smooth Make sure you have enough oil. After spreading it like this, you carry it to your pan. Let it cook one side and then you turn. Then you do the same to the rest. Let it cook one side and then you turn. After that, I cut it into square. You can use a knife or a wheel cutter like I'm using. After that, I take my mince meat, put in a separate container. Then I add one egg. Then mix well. Make sure the egg mix well. Mix like this. Set aside the remainder of the dough. I'm going to share it into three also three balls like I did for one cup I'm going to make three pieces I 
Again, using your oil, just put spread it on the surface. Put your dough, spread it, adding more oil. Spread to a thin dough like I did the first time. This one should be wider. Like this. Then you check this one, the one that you cut the first time. Place it at the center. Take your mixture, place it there, spread evenly. After that, you cover, bring this side here, this one here, this one here, make sure it covers completely. Put your pan, make your pan is hot, when your pan is hot, place it there, like that, put butter, Cross along it. And let it cook and then you turn. You do the same to the rest. Let it cook one side and then you turn. When one side is cooked, turn the other side to cook also. Put the butter. Let it cook until it's brown like the other side. As you can see, this how it's supposed to be. It cooks the whole, both sides. I've finished. This is my end product. I made three of them. I'm going to cut one. I'll cut this one. You see how it's supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to be. This is my end product. As you can see, Swahili pizza. Continue viewing my YouTube channel for more recipes. Bon appetit.